Hello friends and today we are going to study a new topic that is a time scaling of signals. Now the second part of this question is twice of x of t minus 1. This twice or this 2 is stands for we have to perform amplitude scaling. If the alpha value is greater than 1 then of course the amplification of graph or signal is takes place and if it is less than 1 then attenuation of graph is takes place. Again I will repeat in amplification part in amplitude scaling if alpha value is greater than 1 then amplification of graph is takes place and if alpha value is less than 1 then attenuation of graph will takes place. In another way we can say that your graph will get amplified or will get attenuated. Now here alpha value is greater than 2 which means graph is amplified by 2 means multiply all the available amplitudes by 2 that is it. Now one more is given that is t minus 1 means what we have to perform time shifting. Now in time shifting property we have discussed two things your graph may be advance or delay. If the minus sign is given means what your graph will be shifted towards the right hand side by given value that is your value is given 1 means what your graph will be shifted towards the right hand side by 1 and this is called a time delay. If the sign is plus means what your graph will be advanced by 1. Now here minus sign is given means what your graph will be delayed that is shifted towards right hand side by 1. So let's start the instant 0 as the graph is delayed by 1 as the graph is delayed by 1 minus sign is given means what your graph is delayed and the value is 1 that is delayed by 1. So your 0 instance will be shifted towards right hand side by 1. So whatever amount of graph is present at 0 now it is available at 1. So at a 0 the amplitude is also 0. So at 1 also amplitude is 0. In between 0 to 1, we have one slope. Similarly, as this 1 will be shifted towards the right hand side by 1. So, now the new location of this 1 is 2. Hence, we can say that your slope is actually present in between 0 to as it is present in between 0 to 1. Now, it is available in between 1 to 2. So, I will mark that slope. This is the slope. After that, this place 2 is also shifted towards the right hand side by 1. So now the new place is 3 and as in between 1 to 2 we have constant amplitude that is 1. So here also we will get a constant amplitude that is 1 and after 2 the graph is 0 similarly after 3 also graph is having 0 amplitude. Now the next thing that we are going to perform we have to perform amplitude scaling that is we will multiply the whole function this whole result by 2. Now here the amplitude is 1 now it will be multiplied by 2 so that is it that what does it mean that 2 multiplied by 1 answer is 2. So new amplitude for this whole graph is 2. All the time instant will not get be affected but only the thing is amplitude will be increased. I will take the help of scale to draw this graph. So now you can say that just look at here in 0 to 1 as in given example 0 to 1 we have slope as the graph is delayed that is minus 7 is given that is why the graph is delayed or you can say graph is shifted towards right hand side by given value that is 1. So 0 is shifted at 1, 1 is shifted at 2 and 2 is shifted at 3. Similarly whole function or whole graph amplitude also shifted according to their values or their instance. So at a 0 amplitude is 0 similarly as this graph is shifted at 1 so it is also having amplitude 0. Now at 1 or in between 0 to 1 we have a slope. So as this 1 is shifted to on by towards right hand side by 1 now the new location is 2. So similarly as we have a slope in between 0 to 1 now it is available in between 1 to 2. Now at a 2 our graph is ended and having amplitude in between 1 to 2 we have amplitude 1 similarly as this graph is shifted by right hand side by 1 so as we have a constant amplitude in between 1 to 2 now it is available in between 2 to 3 in the second case 
we have to perform amplitude scaling which means the, if here the alpha value is 2 and if it is greater as we know that it is the value is greater than 1 the amplification will take place so that's why this new so previous amplitude is 1 and new amplitude is 2 graph amplification is takes place the instance will not be affected only the changes amplitudes will be changed now we will solve the third sub question of this graph now the third question is x of t plus half as i told you earlier he this example this current question is based on time shifting property as i told you earlier for negative sign the graph is shifted towards the right hand side by given value means what graph is delayed right now in this question the t plus that is plus sign is given plus sign given means what your graph will be shifted towards the left hand side by given value that is the given value is half means what your graph will be shifted towards right hand side sorry left hand side by half which means this zero will be shifted towards right hand side left hand side by half so its new location will be minus half similarly the one will also shifted towards the left hand side by half so new location is my half and the two is also shifted towards the left hand side by half so new location is three by two now so x of t plus half how it looks all these samples to shifted towards the left hand side by half that is two is shifted uh, to the left hand side by half that is new location three by two one new location is half and zero's new location is minus half so only the time will get affected amplitude will remain same so as we know that in between zero to one we have one slope so now in between half minus half to half we have one slope i will connect both the points so now in between minus half to half we have one slope similarly in between one to two we have a constant amplitude that is one so in between half to three by two also we have a same thing that is a constant amplitude and at a two your graph or after two your graph having zero amplitude so similarly you have a graph until till two so similarly here also you have a graph up to three by two and after three by two the amplitude becomes zero and after three by two amplitude becomes zero now this is the way to represent or redraw the graph this is the way to shift this graph towards the left hand side plus sign is given means what graph is shifted towards left hand side and minus sign is given means what graph will be shifted towards the right hand side plus identifies graph is advanced and minus defines graph is delayed so this is how we we can understand this concept and by how much amount we have to advance or delay this graph is totally depends on the given value in this question the given value is half that's why we shifted all the graphs towards the left hand side by half of all the instances basically now we'll study the next question how this x of 2 minus t will be solved let's see now the fourth question is x of 2 minus t there are two properties are present in this question or given in this present question how to identify which property is given so what i will do i will try to write this function in some different format that is in a standard format i'll write the t value first and two value next so this equation can be represented like x of minus t plus 2 what does it mean we have to perform first there basically there are two properties time uh, mirror image that is time folding and another one is time shifting and according to priority we always give first priority to time shifting property and then remaining one you can choose any one here the second property is time folding so first of all i will perform time shifting property and then afterwards we'll perform a time reversal that is folding operation so first of all time shifting property now in this question the sign of after 2 that is plus means we have to perform a time advance operation advance means your graph will be shifted towards left hand side by 2 so as i said your graph will be shifted towards right hand side by 2 which means 
this zero place will be shifted towards the right left hand side by two means that its new location will be minus two one is also shifted towards the left hand side by two so its no location will be minus one and these two will be left shifted towards left hand side by two that is its new location will be zero so i will connect all these points one by one now look at here in between zero to one there is one slope and having amplitude one as both the points were shifted towards left hand side by two so minus 2 to minus 1 there is one slope so i will connect these slopes one by one this one is a slope but after that in between 1 to 2 we have one constant amplitude and as both the points are shifted towards left hand side by 2 so this one is placed on minus 1 this 2 is placed on 0 and in between 1 to 2 we have a constant amplitude so similarly minus 1 to 0 also we have one constant amplitude so we'll connect both that points both these points at the, after 2 the amplitude will become 0 so after 0 also the amplitude is also become 0 the next thing is we have to perform a time folding operation time folding operation means what whatever instance available on negative side will be shifted towards a positive side and whatever instance present on left right hand side will be shifted towards the left hand side but during this process none of the amplitude will get affected means what amplitude will remain unchanged so this minus 2 will be shifted towards uh, right hand side and it is represented by 2 minus 1 is now 1 and 0 will remain at its position now in between minus 1 to 0 we have one constant amplitude similarly in 0 to 1 also we have one constant amplitude as in, in between minus 2 to minus 1 we have one slope similarly in 1 to 2 also we have one slope so i will um, connect it and likewise we can draw the plot of x of t minus 2 that is x of minus 2 plus t likewise this is the way to solve this graph always keep one thing in your mind some of the colleges they will tell you to keep y axis common it is not necessary if they said then follow this technique thank you for watching this video subscribe ekeda and stay tuned with ekeda for next future videos thank you